Matthew Bible Summary to Deuteronomy 8 Moses putteth the Israelites in remembrance of the afflictions and benefits that they had the forty years which they were in the wilderness. The Eighth Chapter All the commandments which I command thee this day ye shall keep for to do them, that ye may live and multiply and go and possess the land which the Lord sware unto your fathers. And think on all the ways which the Lord thy God led thee this forty years in the wilderness, for to humble thee and to prove thee, to wit what was in thine heart, whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or no. He humbled thee and made thee hunger and fed thee with manna, which neither thou nor thy father knew of, to make thee know that a man must not live by bread only, but by all that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord must a man live. Thy raiment waxed not old upon thee, neither did thy feet swell this forty years. Understand therefore in thine heart that as a man nurtureth his son, even so the Lord thy God nurtureth thee. Keep therefore the commandments of the Lord thy God, that thou walk in his ways, and that thou fear him. For the Lord thy God bringeth thee in to a good land, a land of rivers of water, of fountains and of springs that spring out both in valleys and hills, a land of wheat and of barley, of vines, fig trees, and pomegranates, a land of olive trees with oil and of honey, a land wherein thou shalt not eat bread in scarceness, and where thou shalt lack nothing, a land whose stones are iron, and out of whose hills thou shalt dig brass. When thou hast eaten therefore, and filled thyself, then bless the Lord for the good land which he hath given thee. But beware that thou forget not the Lord thy God, that thou wouldest not keep his commandments, laws, and ordinances, which I command thee this day. Yea, and when thou hast eaten, and filled thyself, and hast built goodly houses, and dwelt therein, and when thy beast and thy sheep are waxed many, and thy silver and gold is multiplied, and all that thou hast increased, then beware lest thine heart rise, and thou forget the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, the house of bondage, and which led thee in the wilderness, both great and terrible, with fiery serpents and scorpions, and draught, where was no water, which brought the water out of the rock of flint, which fed thee in the wilderness with manna, whereof thy fathers knew not, for to humble thee, and to prove thee, that he might do thee good at thy later end. And beware that thou say not in thine heart, My power and the might of mine own hand hath done me all these acts. But remember the Lord thy God, how that it is he which gave thee power to do manfully, for to make good the promise which he swear unto thy fathers, as it is come to pass this day. For if thou shalt forget the Lord thy God, and shalt walk after strange gods, and serve them, and worship them, I testify unto you this day, that ye shall surely perish. As the nations which the Lord destroyeth before thee, even so ye shall perish, because ye would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord your God.